All right, let's uh, show Natsuki our poem. <coughs> hmm. Oh, I forgot to save. I'll just do that right now. Well, I can admit that it's it's better than the last one. It's nice to see that you're at least that you're putting in some effort. That's good. Just make sure that you find a little bit of influence from everyone. I think you're at least being influenced by Yuri a little bit, aren't you? I mean, I know that you've been, like, spending time with her, some time with her, or whatever. But, you know, Monica and I are just as good as her. At, at poems, I mean. You should really try to learn something, or you'll never get better. Here's the one I wrote. Make sure you, I'll make sure you learn something from it. Amy likes spiders. Oh, this one's long. I have to go through this again. Okay. I'm going to try to go through this one fast because I've done it before. <coughs> you know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing voice... I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried to not let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks, spi talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if she does if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world would be better off without spider lovers. I'm gonna and I'm gonna tell everyone. <clears throat> Not bad, right? It's uh, quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think it was the best I could do. Of course not. No, of course not. Anyways, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. <clears throat> I doubt I have to explain it. Like, anyone would agree that the subject on this poem is an ignorant jerk. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid of if people find out, they'd make fun of you or think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares about something like... What, who cares what something someone likes? Just as long as it's not hurting anyone and it makes them happy. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Such, such as two of the girls in this very club who, whom I respectfully won't name. <clears throat> you know, I agree, Natsuki. I don't remember if I met and talked about this before with, with this, but... You know, I think I respect people who are into weird things. Uh, I may not agree with the weird things, but, you know, you enjoy the, you enjoy those armpits, you enjoy those feet, you, en you know, if, if, if you like, if you're into something, you know, if you're into something and you're not hurting anybody by, by enjoying it, enjoy it, you know. Alright, that's Derek's, right, that's Derek's life tip of the day. Um, <coughs> kind of ironic that even in my one place of comfort, I can't. Ha I can't even have people respect me. Jeez, and now you're making. Now you're making me complain too much. What did I do? For what it's worth, I respect you. Well, I, I guess thanks. But it's kind of obvious that you respect Yuri's more. So, whatever. <clears throat> I'm losing. I don't, my my voice was just going for some reason. Whatever. We're done sharing, so you can leave now. Unlock a special poem when I like to read it. This sounds like a horrible decision. Can you hear me? Oof. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today. So if everyone could come sit in the front of the room. I don't like this red. So I was just thinking about... What the, uh... What's that noise? Ah. Oh. Is, is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really need to ha to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. I'm scared. Ah. 
Okay. As <laughs> it just fixed everything. <laughs> Uh. You know, I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little more lively since ever since Derek joined and we we've started with some club activities. But this isn't but it, this isn't, isn't the time for us to become complacent. We still only have four members. And the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already, we already have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Natsuki, I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. <coughs> don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them and find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? The Literature Club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a, a place so intimate that you never want to leave. <clears throat> I know that you feel that way too. We, I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard to put something together for the festival. Even if it's something small. Right, Derek? Uh, oh, oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Derek to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica. Do you really think any of us here join the the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Derek joined. As for me, I just like it here better than I do at home. And Derek isn't even passionate about passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're the only one here who's the only one who's so interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you really should should consider our uh, opinions for once. Ellipses. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Derek want to get more members too. Right? Ellipses. Ellipses. I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed about as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, I'd probably then I'd probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation. Um No. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club. It's nothing more than a few than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think everyone here saw it the same way I did? But that doesn't mean we're against getting new members or anything. Derek, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it, cute girls? <coughs> well, that's not something I can really be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given the choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's, what's the point of doing all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Ellipses. Now, you, now you've gone and done it, Natsuki. What? Me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's it's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the, in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't there aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, Derek. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. <coughs> if I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one. I mean, at least for a little bit of time. Things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't want I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. Ellipses. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now, and I'm just happy with you here, but still, I'm the vice president. It's not like, it's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. Oof. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and the decision that's, and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Derek? 
What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Malika. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. <coughs> That's what will end up making the literature club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own... Oh, her eyes drip. Oh. And, oh. Her, each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't necessarily think- I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Maybe we can talk- I'll talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey Yuri! Eh? Huh? I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I- I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also, one, a wonderful friend. M Monica. I just wanted to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. <coughs> we can talk. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Derek? Um. Please don't take this the wrong way, but. I'm going to chat a little bit with Derek before we leave. I just want to see what- just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Ellipses. Yuri looks a little bit- a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. <coughs> okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow! Yuri wa- or Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew! Phew! Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Sorry, I'm yawning. <laughs> okay. It's, it's, a, it's, it's getting noisy. Why? Is it getting darker? It's getting darker. No, it's not. It, I don't think it's getting darker. Derek, I just wanted to make sure that you're enjoying your time at the at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel like I'm kind of responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is it and everything. And Yuri being a little bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird, because... And all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. <coughs> things I, I know only you could understand. So that's why... Wait, not yet. No, stop it. Oh. Ah, no, stop. Stop. I, I have no idea how many of these I have. Alright, we did it. Hi, Derek. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I, I brought my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to- Ugh. Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always un interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me? Nothing. 
I think that's the problem. That? Wink. Ellipses. Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over it. It's not even anything noteworthy. <coughs> I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. Looks at camera. Anyway, I don't. We don't need to talk about it. Well, I just felt like I needed to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Well, well, Derek just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and... Um... Ellips ellipses. Right. I, I forgot. Um, about that, Nazi. We were all talking yesterday and, well, we decided that we would like to support the festival as well. However, I understand that you feel how you feel about not wanting the club to change. And I think we all kind of feel that way. So as long as we're working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Ellipses. Um, also, if you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. Ellipses. <laughs> Sorry, that last part was really funny. Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt- I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't- another new member wouldn't hurt, as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I'd hate to- I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro again, though. So I'm gonna help too, and we'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Ah, uh, yeah, that's wonderful. It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, Derek, what do you want? What do you want to do today? I was thinking we could. We already have plans today. Ah, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Derek is already engaged in the novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I I already got him gotten him into? I've already gotten him into literature, Monica. I, I suppose. I was just. Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes. Uh, um, thank you for understanding, Monica. <clears throat> Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Where we? I've seen this before. Eleven times, as a matter of fact. Did I save before? I don't think I did save. We're gonna make a save. Oh, I did right there. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, with the kind with a filter inside. Can Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and I also and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk. Then I'll go get and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down. On the, ta on the teacher's desk. I was simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. <coughs> okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks. I'll be right back. Ah, uh, I may as well walk with you. Th that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah! Did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ellipses. Ten minutes passed. Yuri said it wouldn't take too long. Is something holding her up? I'm just bored waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. Did I, like... No, I couldn't have possibly loaded just loaded one of these. I guess it's just repeating itself. I start heading down the hallway. Ha 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 ha. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. 
A sharp inhale, like someone is sucking the air through her teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Eerie? Gah! And back we go again. Ah. Uh. Um. Wait. How did I... Sorry, I just had a really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before or anything, right? My head has been a little fuzzy today. I hope it really hasn't been showing or anything. I would really hate for you to think I'm I'm weird after we just started spending time together. I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them. But expressing those things so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. At least that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I would think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me. So I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies. And the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So, I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could l ever like me for the things that matter most to me, then it's just easier if I close myself off. But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is, but every time we come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. Like it's going to rip out of my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's been happening. Derek, is it just me, or has Monica been acting a little off lately? She's always been a sweetheart since I joined the club. But recently, I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Please tell me I'm not. I couldn't say anything before, because she's always listening. But finally, we're alone. Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. Ellipses. I just want to stay here. Just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends, and then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Nobody to make me feel like I'm stabbing myself in the throat. Ahaha. <laughs> that was a joke. Just a joke. I do like knives, though. <clears throat> oh no, Monica. Monica, stop. It sounds strange, but you, you wouldn't understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. I've gotten them from various artisans. I make sure th to give them all their fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you enjoy you joined the literature club, Derek. Now we don't have to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the literature club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention that other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day after school. And read together. Eat together. Sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? Everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? It, it was al It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we'd meet each other. And now we get the happy ending that I patiently waited years for. Will you do that with me, Derek? Will you go... So who should I show my poem to first? Um, guess we'll decide uh, next time on The Spellingtons.